are the Latinxes running for office in November's general election, and what issues do they stand for? We're breaking it down, starting with Councilman Richie Torres of New York City's 15th Congressional District. If elected, Torres is poised to become the first LGBTQ and Afro-Latino member of Congress. I feel I'm more representative of the multi-ethnic, multi-racial democracy that America has become. Torres, who calls himself your fighter for the Bronx, beat out his opponent, Ruben Diaz Sr., a pro-Trump, cowboy hat-yielding Democrat who opposes gay marriage and abortion. The voters of the South Bronx overwhelmingly cast their ballot for a new generation of leadership. You know, the election unfolded against the backdrop of COVID-19 and the mass demonstrations following the murder of George Floyd. And so it became a change election. Speaking of COVID-19, Torres' district, which includes the South Bronx, is largely Latinx and was hit hard by COVID-19. The Bronx was struggling well before the outbreak of COVID-19 and the poverty and inequality has risen to a new level. You know, the unemployment rate can be as high as 30% in some places in the Bronx. Jobs, housing, healthcare, and education are at the top of the list for Torres. And for good reason. The 32-year-old was raised by a single mother making minimum wage. I grew up in public housing in conditions of mold and mildew, leaks and lead without reliable heat and hot water in the winter. These are struggles that I've lived in my own life. Those hard knock life lessons, Richie says, may just be the very thing making him stand out to voters in his district. And if you're planning on voting this election, you can register by tapping the link below.